video today and I am in bed and this is my video because I don't have an extra one. I was kind of making them and editing them just before and I hadn't made any extras so this is it. So I hurt my foot sprained it pretty badly. It's feeling better. I'm feeling well enough to actually sit up and probably craft for you. And I came up with something I wanted to do. And if I'm a little slower today, it's because I'm on medication for pain, but that's okay. Nothing dangerous that I can't handle like scissors or a heat tool or anything like that. So here's some muslin. I have tons of muslin and I just cut the edges because this is part of my shield and I just cut that off the edges. And I wanted to make a a kind of a cloth ball bee today. And I wanted to use leftover things and nothing new or something given, like something that I had, nothing that I went and got for it. So either it was something given to me, like I was thinking of adding these I got from my Happy Mail the sequences um so anyway i got some of my happy meal that i hadn't actually had a chance to put downstairs which is perfect because it's here beside me in the basket and i have like a bunch of muslim in the basket here i'm just going to show my basket up there laundry little mini dollar store laundry basket i actually have an ice cream pail full of um laundry lint. I know it sound, might sound awful. I'm going to recycle that with this project today. So anyways, I have this. Didn't measure it out, but so I'm measuring tools downstairs. That I didn't grab. I didn't grab to get the girls to grab for me. So anyways, I'm going to paint this and I'm just going to use some of these paints that the girls grabbed for me here and they're from Deco Art. These are my metallics. I love my metallics. I got some, uh, looks like I got some neon colors here too. So it's perfect. I got pink, blue, neon, green, and orange, and yellow. And I got some of my little um, deco art traditions as well. So this is like raw umber. I got some opaque white, blue ultramarine blue. So these are the ones that you can mix and stuff like that. They are more traditional paints. Okay? I don't know if you guys are getting that. I moved my camera around a bit probably too much. Anyways, this is my webcam on here and I got on another um, my school easel that holds my whiteboard. So what I'm going to do is I got my end table here beside me and I got my paintbrush in there. And hopefully this will be an okay video for you guys. And another thing I forgot to ask the girls is for a um, paper towel. I didn't bring paper towel in here. I got toilet paper. All right. So anyways, I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna put some of this neon blue. It's not usually my thing. Oops, it didn't mix it well enough. It's perfect. It's gonna mix. Up kind of. My bed's gonna bounce. I know this is odd, awkward, so, <laughs> but I might be doing videos like weird like this for a while because I don't know, I can't, can you get me paper towel please? So I'm going to really want to get this going, I got some water on my brush, and what I do want to do is I want to design this up and make myself a really nice, um, color on this and fill this all up. I want to tear in strips and then I want to roll my nice beads. Hey. And that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Chloe. So I'm just adding this. And I'm going to grab more water. I got some paper behind here on this little TV tray type of thing. Um, from um, when I'm doing the flyers and they separate the piles of flyers. Sometimes they have them. Like sometimes they have them on there. So I'm just gonna kind of play with this. 
Now I know I'm just using neon, but I'm not going to add more neon. I'm going to add a little bit. This one I'm going to add a traditional ultramarine blue. See, it's pretty dark. And then I might add some gold. I'll lighten up. I might even add some white. Now this um, muslin is unbleached, so it's like an off-white. And you could do whatever you want. You could just even use a piece of muslin, put it to the side, and use it to wipe your brushes on. Get just a totally bunch of paint on it, and then use it for um, like use it as a rag at first, and then use it for um, just kind of an idea of making the beads. Now I saw some people making like candy beads, they're called or something like that. Um, I'll have to look it up who made them. And she made them out of her t-shirts, leftover t-shirts, things that she wasn't wearing anymore. And that's where she got her strips from. And then she sewed some seed beads on them, filled them with cotton balls, and then made these really nice little candy looking like beads. And she actually put them in a packaging that looked like a candy package, chocolate package. It looks so cute. So I wanted to do that, but I wanted to paint my own, of course. And I know the color is not the greatest, but I just want to get color everywhere. And I'm going to add more blue. And I want to get some gold in it. So this is my neon blue. So I love coloring on fabric. I love painting on fabric. So. And it's like leftover pieces from another project, so I'm kind of re it's got another purpose for it. And that's the whole idea is that I didn't want to, you know, I want to come up with some things that I have with my leftover projects, scraps, and kind of uh, work it into something that I can really use in my upcoming projects and stuff like that. Or in Happy Meal, or, you know, you can even make them into little necklaces and stuff like that, these little beads. So they're interesting to say the least. It's something different. Now I'm just going to continue trying not to get any on my bed. Oh I got some on my bed. Try not to get any on my bed. You know everything I own has got some kind of paint on it. I have now a sweater that I go downstairs and paint in. Just a cardigan just for going down to paint in. Or to craft into the glue and whatnot in there. So that's pretty much good. Now I'm going to grab my gold. I'm going to get the brighter one, I think. Oh, they both look pretty good. I'm looking over here and not showing you guys. I got yellow gold and I got gold ore. Huh. I'm going to go for the bright yellow gold. I'm try to wash my brush out. Now that Chloe brought me a paper towel, I can use that. My birdie's acting up, of course. What's new? So I'm going to use the yellow gold. I'm going to throw that on there in some spots. And it's kind of clumpy. I'm not sure why. I did shake it, but I don't know if that's the consistency it's supposed to be, but we'll see how it looks. It's not dry. I probably could have dried it. I'm being kind of, I'm going to go green, I'm not even thinking here. See, there you go. The brain's not on. The brain's not on. That's okay. I'm just going to kind of clump it on, and there is a nice clump that we don't want on there. It's okay if it's going a little bit green, because it's going to go with the colors anyway. It's not going to totally mud it up. I could add more after. I'm going to heat it up, I think, after I just get a little bit more spread. Add more gold because I should have um, dried up my blue to get this going on here. Let's see this side coming along here. I'm get, trying to get it right to my edge too. There we go. It's going to look really nice. Okay, I'm going to dry this up, guys, 
and I will be back. Well, this part's pretty close to dry, so I just want to show you that turned out really nice. I'm going to add, I think, a little bit more gold, but I also was looking at the um, sequence I got from Julie, and there's some green in there, so I'm thinking I'm going to add some of this beautiful sequence. So I want to add some green spots. So I have, I do have yellow, but I also have green, neon green. So guys, what do you think? Which one? Um, hmm. I'll try a little bit of the neon. We'll try to splatter some of that on. Shake. I'm shaking the bed. Shaking the whole. I'm shaking all of you guys with me. Sorry guys. All right. I think I'll just open it up like this, try to splatter some neon in there, I'm going to get a really wet brush. What am I going to do with this? Okay, I'm going to pour a little bit in my cap. Why is that so runny? I don't even need water in there. Okay, I'm going to just... That's the yellow. I was hoping it would be kind of like, kind of looks like neon green. Not bad. I am keeping it within my range here, so don't panic for my bed. It's okay. <laughs> don't panic for my bed. There we go. I'm, I, I would have liked that to have been more. I don't know. I'm going to try the green now. Did, did I shake the green? Shake the green. Shake you guys up with me. Oh, terrible. So you can craft in bed, although earlier, or yesterday, the, you know, the medication was way too much for me, but I think my body's starting to get used to it now, taking it every four hours, and, and so I can handle both pain and medication now, I think, for now, and hopefully everything will ease up soon, and, and yeah. Anyway, I like that. Getting little spritz around here. And then I'm going to dry that up, guys. And I like that. Now it's going to match my sequence that I got from Mom um, Julie. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to add a little bit more. It's going to add, I was going to say Julie. I said Julie, but Julia. Anyways, for the sequence is where I got from. Uh, one of my recent Happy Mails. And I'm going to add a little bit more gold because I love gold. Who doesn't love gold? Now this is a um, yellow gold and it's quite bright. It's brighter than the ore gold, so that's why I chose it. And I'm going to put a little bit more here and there where I have it already. Just bring it out more. And then I'm going to dry it up. And of course, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my bead. This interesting um, kind of like a, a ball of a bead. Bee ball. I don't know what kind of name you want to call it. That sounds interesting. Anyway, so I'm just going to put a little bit more gold on here. And my bird's going to act like a uh, mini eagle beanie shofini. You know why? It's because mommy's been in bed and, well, he's always, he's got no excuse. We just make excuses up for him. Taya is three years old forever and he has his little Fits if he's not getting attention. And if you know a three year old, they like to have their attention pretty much all the time. So that's why Taya kind of acts up. He's going to be three years old for the rest of his, of his birdie life. So no one's in there talking to him. Obviously, they're all doing something. Now that's my goal. And there we go. Now I'm going to dry it up. Hey, guys. This is what I got. Nice and dry. Isn't it pretty? Kind of spacey looking, even though it's not the right colors. I don't know. Whatever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going... I got some seed beads. I'm going to show you quickly. Seed beads. And so hopefully I'll be able to use these in here because I hopefully can get them past my needle. I don't know. I'm going to try them with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slit the top a bit here. Um, and 
just trying to figure out how big I want them. I'm going to try a couple, first of all. And I'm going to rip them. Oh, that didn't work. I'll cut them down. All right, that one didn't work, but this will be good. Nice, um, the way the shape went. I can roll that as a, a regular cloth bead. So I can actually do that, too, for you guys today. A regular material bead. Now, where did I do that from? But that didn't quite go to the way I wanted to. It ripped too much of an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it instead because I want it straight down the best I can. I know I need another pair of material scissors. These ones are good for lace and stuff, but I need something big that cuts the material. I wasn't much of a uh, I didn't have that much of a need for them, but, you know, a little crooked, but whatever. But I do now have more of a need for them. So, same thing. I'm going to try to cut a little bit straighter. It may not work. It may work. Let's see how it goes. So it's such a pretty color. It's a little, I can't cut straight to save my life. All right, so this is what we got, these strips. So I got my dryer lint. I hope you guys don't find this really yucky or anything, but I mean, it's clean towels, clean clothes, right? So there, sorry guys. Anyways, so instead of buying cotton balls, I thought, well, it's clean stuff. I'm going to use that. So I'm going to grab some of this. Put it into a ball it's and roll it in. I'm actually going to use this end. No, I'll use this end. I might need more. See, I just don't know. Like, you just kind of, how big do you want it? I don't know. But they're using, like, three cotton balls, right? So I was like, well, I can do this and use, and just wrap it around really tight and use stuff that I have lying around the house. I don't have to buy cotton balls for this, so I don't have to, um, you know, my bird's really distracting me. Okay, I'm going to roll this up there. So I was thinking I could do this, get away with this without having to buy a bunch of stuff, just use what I had at home. And that kind of thing. So that's what I got as this kind of a ball. Maybe I don't need that much. I don't know. I'll try snipping some off just because I'm going to kind of do that. So I have some, a threaded needle already with a knot in the end, and I've managed to do that without any problem threading that. So I'm just going to it through. My bird's really having an issue up there. <laughs> Underneath so my knot's not showing and it's just kind of so so some places kind of anchor it down. Now my cloth I gotta kind of get it down. In here. So I'm trying to make a ball, right? Trying to figure out what's the best way to stitch it up here. I'm going to throw a few stitches in here. And I don't have my little um, thing for my finger, you know, that I can push on the needle. That's what I'm missing. That's what I could be using right about now. My thimble. So I'm going to try to stitch some of this up for you guys. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. This is so hard. And the light's just so dim compared to what I usually work in. So I'm just going to try to get this into sewing up a bit here. So what I'm doing here is I just, I stopped sewing for a second because 
I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm going to speed through that. But I'm actually going to pull out some sequence. And um, that way I can kind of, while I'm stitching it to be more of a round shape, I'm also adding sequence and I could be adding seed beads to it too. I don't just stitch it all up and then add that after. I could add that throughout, right? So it's like really pretty. So I'm grabbing some sequence. I'm going to grab some seed beads. Uh, throw a few on here. I wish the light was better in here. And she seems so dull. <laughs> I think it is. But whatever. It'll work. It'll work. And I can even put some bright beads on there too. So maybe I'll just do the gold. I was going to do the peach or the pinky. But I think I'll do the gold. Because I have a nice gold in here. Gold in my... We'll see. I might even add brighter colors. So that's what I got so far. So now I'm just going to continue with my stitching it up and then making it kind of like a round nice ball and then I'm going to do that in speed. Okay, I tried to do some seed beads with the last needle but it was too thick. So I hope I did th put through a needle again a different one. Now I it, I did speed through that and it, it's kind of a, a messy ball bead. Uh, is that Whatever, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a ball. It's a material ball. I painted it. So you guys seen that. And then I put some... Um, oh dear, what are they called on there? Sequins. And I'm just adding a uh, different needle now. I'm hoping I can add some seed beads to this needle. Because I couldn't add them to the last needle. The end was too um, thick. There, I got some in there this time. So I'm going to add more decor with sea beads throughout and um, that way I can kind of have more of a design around. This is what I have so far and it's cute but I wanted to make it throughout the whole thing and this is my first one, it's cute. Um, the painted material so it's a little bit more harder than um, the material that would have if you just use the material. So you could just use something material that's fancy. Um, if I had my um, thing or my finger, can't think of the name, Thimble, which is in my other kit that the kids can't seem to remember they used it or not. Anyways, so since it's me seeing in action, I just have to push the needle down with the table here but this is what I came up with today to do since I got a few now on here since I can't really um, run around today or you know kind of stuck so here I'm gonna start doing I'm actually gonna go underneath this fold to disguise my knot because I have a knot at the end oh well. I may not be a good idea. I'll have to cut my knot out. After adding all those beads, that might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, so I'll cut my knot out. Because I think I added too many beads. I'll just take those beads out for now. Anyways, I don't want you to add the beads on after my knot right here. Because I want to hide my knot underneath a little piece here. And then add some beads. So crazy me. That's okay. It's a learning process too. So I was just like I saw it done once. But I was with the cotton balls and the material from the shirts or whatever. So I thought this would be a fun cute little project to kind of play with some scraps. And then you can make it your own. Like I said it's just a little harder. Did I go right in your face? Sorry guys. A little harder with the uh and put a couple of seed beads in there with the paint on there, but it's not bad. I just got to push it down sometimes on my table top. But I want to put it throughout, and have nice little pieces just everywhere. And I don't have to put seed beads on all of it.
but um, I can put as much or as little as I want. So I'm just going to stitch throughout my whole piece and make this into a kind of what they call, that particular person calls it a candy, um, um, candy bead. <laughs> so we'll see if I can make it work. One of those things that it's going to take me, oh, this seed bead did. I have to guess I have to look at check out seed beads. Grab the bigger size. For me, I have all day here. I know you guys don't have all day to watch me, but. But. I thought it was a cute idea anyway. I'm going to work some more on it and then come back and then show you guys some more. So this is what I have. This bead of it's a cloth bead. I mean we have to sew it through something to bead it I guess. Um, but that's what I have of my first one I made. So I'm going to make some more but not bad and it's reusing well reusing the re lint and uh, <laughs> pieces of scraps that I may not have used for anything else and yeah so that's pretty much it it's pretty neat so that's my beaded ball out of the um, it's not cotton balls because the other one she called them um, beaded cotton balls or something like that. Um, but using um, dryer lint <laughs> to fill it and yeah, make some nice little ornaments. I mean, they can be really nice to hang up the bottom of the um, blankets and that kind of thing or pillow ends or something. So I'm sure I'll find some things to use it for. But right now, that's why I thought I would try it out. Um, you could do more beads, but that was. Um, so far what I tried, how I worked it anyway. So I hope you guys like it. It's interesting. And give it a try perhaps. I think this would be cute in some things. You can hang them as baubles on a tree or something too. So but I'm sure we can come up some really neat things to hang them on. I don't know. I like it. It's pretty neat. I'll discover something that I really want to use it for, but that is that. I really like the teals, the way it came out with the blue and teal, green and the gold and everything, and I used those sequences and sea beads, so it turned out pretty nice. So yeah, I hope you guys don't, I uh, didn't mind that crap too much, crap like a duck, don't forget crap like a duck, and yeah, I'm in my bed doing it, I'm going to continue doing it, and so if you guys are laid up as well, you guys can do it as well, so yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a little while in my bed or on the couch or wherever I am. Put my foot up. So I hope you guys don't mind. Talk to you guys later. Bye.